Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the book of Philippians. We are now at Philippians 4.8, and you perhaps know this is one of the most famous verses in the entire Bible. From Genesis to Revelation, here's what it says. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, Meditate on these things. And this one verse, if you will put it into practice in your life, this one verse will change your life forever. Let's think about it for a minute together. He's giving counsel. He's in the last part of the epistle. He says, do this, do this, do this. And now he comes to this thing that is one of the big things he wants to drop for them. Finally, brethren. So he's, he says, this is, this is kind of a big item here for you. Finally, this is it. Whatever things are true, he wants to, what we think about. He wants us to be careful about what we think about, what we put our affections on. God wants us to be careful there. And although the Philippians weren't facing social media and, 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 and cell phones and, and crazy nonsense going beeping all the time, they weren't facing that like we are. But I'll tell you what, this is counsel for our day, just as it was counsel for their day. Whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just. Not very much postmodernism going on here, right? Because there is truth. There is things that uh, are noble. There are things that are just. And this against today's viewpoint where, you know, there really is no truth. It's just truth is just whatever works for you, whatever works for me. Truth is utilitarian. There is no such thing as truth. That's not true. <laughs> The Bible tells us that there are things that are true, and we are to think about the things that are true. We are to let these things dominate our uh, thought process, things that are just, those things, things that are truly just, not just what the current politics says is just, but what the Bible shows us is just. Uh, whatever things are lovely, there's things that are beautiful. God made things that are beautiful. It's not wrong to like things that are beautiful. We don't have to dislike something because it's beautiful, because it's some kind of a case of privilege or something, supposedly. Whatever things are of good report, things that, you know, are actually good. If there's any virtue, if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. So let your mind be filled with things that are good, things that are just, things that point to a creator God who loves his people and has done beautiful things for us. God designed us in a beautiful way. We, we should be happy with that. So what we put into our mental bucket, what we think about day by day throughout the day, that's really important because that helps, that will shape our mind, that will shape our emotions. And if we would just think on these things, things that are true, things that are praiseworthy, things that are virtuous. Yes, there are things that are virtuous. And if those are the things that we find in our mind, our lives will be different. The, the alternative is what? I mean, the alternative is you don't think on anything virtuous. You don't think on anything that's true. You don't think on anything that's just. What would there be left? All there would be would be lies and untruths. Let your mind and heart be filled with lies and untruths and every wicked thing, which the devils would be happy with, but you won't be happy with it. So let's follow this beautiful counsel from Paul to have some care about what's going on in our brain, in the brain synapses here, and let's start by going to the Word and finding out more about Jesus. Then we'll know which things are virtuous and true and just and lovely. Let's pray. Father in heaven, it seems like the Bible would be incomplete if this counsel wasn't there, but it's not incomplete, and this counsel is there. This is perfect counsel for us in the year. Of all things, how have we made it this far? 2022. So Lord, bless each one. Help us to be stewards over our mind, over our heart, over the things that we think on, the way that we spend our energies. Help us, Lord, to think on the lovely things and to reflect that out into this world, which has got so much darkness in it. May we express light out into this world. Thank you, Lord, for this special, all-important counsel for our day. May we have the right things. Garbage in, garbage out, but good in will bring good out. So, Lord, we're looking here to follow your counsel so there is good going in. And we thank you for hearing our request to help us with this in Jesus' name. Amen. So friend, let there be good going in, and I won't regret it, and you won't regret it at all. God be with you today.